Police Board is scheduled to reopen with some public schools. The mayor and DCPS leaders have reversed course. So classes will remain virtual for term two. That begins November 9th. Delia Gonsalves has been looking into this delay. She joins us now live in Northwest to explain what is behind the change. Right, we are just one week before the scheduled reopening and now the mayor and the chancellor reverse course suddenly receiving a letter. Parents got a letter in their email stating that they needed to readjust their timeline. So the mayor tells me that this decision was not based on school readiness. He insists that the safety upgrades have been made and school safety is on track. She says this is a staffing issue. The teachers refuse to come back and they don't have enough staff to pull this plan off, she says. But the mayor, I'm sorry, the union says, listen, mayor, both of these issues, they're directly connected. And when teachers are pressed against the wall, they're going to do whatever they need to do to protect themselves and their families. On the day DCPS teachers stage a sick out and take time off their live online classrooms, the chancellor and the mayor reverse course, saying there is not enough staff to begin live in-person instruction November 9th. However, the mayor says safety upgrades are on track. We have uh, made incredible uh, improvements to our buildings. Parents and teachers are walking through our buildings and scheduled walkthroughs. I'm very proud to say uh, that all of the promises that we have made around our buildings, we will deliver on on the timeline that we said we would deliver on them. So they will be perfectly ready on November the 9th. Now, walkthrough was not safe, but parent leaders from Capitol Hill Montessori at Myers were not satisfied with their Friday walkthrough, reporting desks not properly spaced, isolation room not set up for symptomatic students, no hot water, and no data from classroom HEPA filters. The parents also wrote D.C. Council members that, quote, six exhaust fans on the roof of the building need to be replaced. I understand the importance of getting back in the classroom. But Cedric Hendricks says his school is not ready and points to pictures of black mold and disrepair at School Without Walls at Francis Stevens, a school whose principal was recently let go. The agency that has left this to happen, and you could tell that stuff didn't just happen overnight, is who we're going to have to turn to and rely on to make it better all of a sudden. So we don't have much confidence. We don't have much trust. We have to be able to give parents uh, and kids an idea of when they're going to be able to return to school. When are teachers ready to come back? They're going to be ready to come back when the schools are safe. So certainly a lot of issues, according to the union, and unanswered questions. The union president tells me they hope to uh, hammer these issues out and come to an agreement at the bargaining table on Thursday. Now, here's another issue. Now, while school will remain virtual for term two, November 9th, schools will open for some students. They are offering an in-person virtual option. The mayor tells me that will be available November 16th. The union, they have issues with that. But even though teachers, members of the union, will not be supervising those classrooms, they have major issues because we don't know who will be supervising those classrooms. Right now, all we know is that DCPS has reached out to central office staff and to employees of other DC agencies to supervise those classrooms. A lot more ahead, and we will stay on top of the story as it continues to develop. So now we're live in Northwest. Delia Gonsal, still in your I'll tell you what, Delia, whether you're a parent with a child in DC public schools or some other school system, every school is having this conversation and, and wondering the exact same thing. Teachers, parents, everybody wants answers. and. And, you know, sometimes we just, it's its just so hard. And I don't envy anybody who has to make these decisions. Steve, thank you. There's a lot to do. There.